Now it's time to transfer data to an Ethernet IP PLC. In this example it's a Rockwell Allen Bradley Control Logix PLC. If you look at the Ethernet IP status, you see that no data is exchanged currently. Six bytes have been set up to be transferred to the PLC and zero byte from the PLC. The first step is to import the EDS file. You can get the EDS file from the product support webpage on anybus.com or from the products configuration webpage. Then click on the tools menu and select the EDS hardware installation tool. Follow the wizard. Browse the EDS file and select it and click open. Continue the wizard and finish it. Now we can add the module under the PLC scanner. Right click on the Ethernet connection, select new module. Sort by vendor type in the select module type window and select HMS industrial networks. Then select the Anybus communicator and click create. Give it a name and enter the IP address. In the top left select the connection menu. Check inhibit module. Click OK. Click close. Now we had two rungs. On each rung add a ladder element. Select message. Add an input element on each rung. Name them trig read and trig write. Name the message elements read tag and write tag. Right click the read tag and click new read tag to add as a tag. Make sure the scope is any bus. Click create to create the tag. Do the same for the right tag. Open the configuration dialog for the read tag message instruction. Set the service type to get attribute single. Enter class 4 instance 100 attribute 3. Click new tag. Name it, read data. Set the data type to send as an array of six. Click create. Select the created read data in the destination element. Go to the communication tab. Click browse and select the Anybus communicator and click OK.
Check connected and cash connections. Click OK to finish the read message instruction. Open the configuration dialog for the write tag message instruction. Set the service type to, set attribute single. Enter, class 4, instance 150, attribute 3. Click new tag. Name it, write data. Set the data type to send as an array of one. Click Create. Select the created write data in the source element. Change the source length to zero as we are not writing any data. Go to the Communication tab. Click Browse and select the Anybus Communicator and click OK. Check Connected and Cache Connections. Click OK to finish the Write Message instruction. As you can see no data is being exchanged. Download to the PLC. To establish a connection we must first trigger the write instruction. Toggle the trig write instruction on and then toggle it off. Now we can see that data exchange is active. We can see that we haven't received any input data yet. Let's go back to the program. Toggle the trig read instruction on and then toggle it off. We can now go back to the controller tags and see that we have received values.